Laser sights are an essential firearms training tool, clearly correcting and improving the two most important shooting fundamentals, aiming and trigger control. Crimson Trace, making laser sights standard equipment. Learn more at crimsontrace.com. Welcome back to Tom Gresham's Gun Talk, live from the FN booth at the NRA Show. All right, round and third and heading home. It is the uh, the last hour, not only of Gun Talk Radio today, but uh, the last hour of the NRA's annual meetings, the exhibit hall here in Indianapolis, Indiana. We're in the FN booth. Folks, let us camp out here. Thank you very much for letting us do this. Uh, cool stuff, cool guns. And some very interesting people. We're visited right now by Andrew Wright from Surefire. You're over there looking at the guns because you, you can't help it, man. No, you can't. It's hard <laughs> to stay away from. <laughs> it really is. And it's like, okay, oh, this is cool. We're going to play with this stuff. Uh, we were just, what, like a week and a half ago, we were together shooting guns and gear. Yep, Mississippi. Uh, Mississippi. And you were showing us some of the cool stuff you guys have been up to. Because Surefire is a technology company. 100%. You know, the stuff you guys do, it's never the same as what other people do. Is that, is that a fair way to put it? Absolutely. We're always trying to innovate and, uh, and, and come out with something to, to improve upon what we have. Okay. I mean, I think it would be correct to say Surefire was kind of the first of the whole tactical flashlight world Absolutely. way back. Absolutely. Yeah, we basically created that with, uh, you know, the 6P, um, the original, you know, two-cell. Right. And uh, the more... It had a full 60 lumens, baby. <laughs> <laughs> which was impressive. It was impressive at the time. Yeah, yeah. The, the CR-123s, which uh, the owner, Dr. John Matthews, helped create um, with, a, you know, the higher density uh, battery that was able to... I did not realize he was involved in the development of that battery. Yep, yep, yep. Basically he, handed it off to Panasonic. I knew he was smart, but holy cow. Yeah, it was self-serving. We just needed a way to get, <laughs> get needed, flashlights brighter. You needed brighter. a good battery. 100%. But, yeah, uh, yeah we've been innovating constantly, so Suppressors, um, flashlights, just about anything. Lasers, you know, we have our new XVL2, which is a, a light laser combination with infrared and visible lasers. Everything in a very, very compact package. You know, it's, always trying to make something better. That's kind of where everything has been moving is smaller and smaller packages. And, I mean, when we got really good, finally hit good good LEDs, because you guys were not first in the LEDs because they weren't good enough for you. I remember that. Yep. I remember it, that whole process there. We were holding off for quite a while, making sure they were proven and getting the output that we wanted. Uh, right. So, yeah, we, we definitely held back on, on making the shift. We want to make sure it was going to be a reliable and uh, an efficient package. Well, and frankly, a lot of the stuff you use is used by law enforcement and military. They're going into caves and places where it darn well better work. Exactly, and that's one of our biggest selling points. We, we, don't, we don't put something out, out if it's not going to perform because our end users depend on those products with their life. Yeah. So, yeah, like you said, military, um, special operations community uses a lot of our gear, and we want to make sure it's the best that we can make. One of the things that's interesting to me, and we've talked about this, is that you guys have been making suppressors, silencers for a long time, and yet you run into people who say, oh, I didn't know you guys made silencers, right? All the time. <laughs> at this show, I've heard it at least a couple times today. Yeah, so uh, we've been making them for, for quite a while. Uh, currently hold the SOCOM contract for 5.56 and 7.62 suppressors, but we make a bunch of other calibers as well from 338 all the way down to 22, 9 millimeter, etc. So, yeah, and actually we're announcing here at the show our brand new titanium suppressor, our 300 tie. Okay, this is not so light. I'm not picking it up. This is so light. It's, it's 11 ounces, so that's a full titanium suppressor. Um, Primarily, we're, not, we're not talking about two-inch suppressor. I just you can't tell here. What is this like? Eight? Yeah, just under eight inches. Seven point okay. nine. Yeah, this this is a full suppressor here. Yeah, it just weighs. It feels like it weighs nothing. Exactly. So that particular is a thirty caliber suppressor. You could put it on a three oh eight rifle. Um, you could also put it all the way down to five five six if you wanted. Uh, but it's super lightweight, great for hunting or precision rifles. Titanium obviously is not as durable as our high tempo, temperature al- alloys that we put in some of our other suppressor products. Okay. But it's plenty durable for most most consumers, all right, especially you, for the precision market. All right. So if you were shooting Full auto. Mm-hmm. This would not be the, the not, can you'd want to use. Not the one you want to use. Could you heat it up? Yep. Yep. Our 7.62 RC2 suppressor, which is a, a full inclinal suppressor. It's high temperature alloy. Um, that thing, you could do full auto. It dumps on all day, and you're going to be just fine. Okay. Obviously, there's a little bit of a weight sacrifice by a more durable suppressor. But, sure. You know. But if they're going to use, say you're going to have my hunting rifle. Mm-hmm. This would be perfect for that. Lightweight. You're just not going to put that many rounds through it anyway. It, exactly. Yep. And this uses our fast attach mount, which is completely repeatable impact shift, and it's a very minimal impact shift. And we shoot every suppressor at the factory to make sure that that quality is there. So it's going to be under an inch, usually about half that, and 100% repeatable. So if you're using that suppressor on multiple rifles, uh, and when you bring it back to the original rifle, it's right. going to hit right where you zeroed it before. You actually shoot every suppressor? Every single one. Yep. I'm... I'm 
really surprised at that. Yeah, and, most most companies will batch test, but we shoot right. every suppressor uh, daily. We go through a lot of ammo, making sure that the, uh, they I meet the quality you specs. Okay, yeah. so this is this out now? This is. This is shipping out now. Uh, okay. Yep, Okay. 100%. All right. And now, what do you have in your hand here? So we got our su- suppressor, um, excuse me, Surefire Optimized Bolt Carrier Group. So this is uh, another announcement for the show. We're doing an exclusive with Brownells, and this is available right now. Okay. Basically, it's the last bolt carrier group that you'll ever need to buy. There's a couple cool, unique uh, features about it. There's a counterweight in the back that delays your unlocking. It's also got a lengthened cam pin slot. So those two things combined will decrease your chamber pressure by about 15%. Uh, that Rear counterweight works uh, again when it goes all the way to the rear. It pins that bolt carrier group to the rear, giving your magazine more time to feed. It's got a shortened gas carrier key, which gives you additional stroke combined with the shorter buffer. Um, And then again, that that counterweight works a third time when it slams home, completely eliminating your bolt bounce. So it's going to lengthen the life of all your parts. It'll probably be the last carrier group you ever need to buy for your rifle. Um, Pretty awesome device. This was actually designed by Jim Sullivan, who's one of the original designers of the the AR-15, bringing it from 7.62 to 5.56. It also sounds like what you're describing, you're also going to get increased reliability. Exactly. Exactly. Yep. That's it's, it's 100% what it is, to, to not get any malfunctions with the rifle. The feeding is going to be better. Yep. All, I mean, every part of it. Correct. Yep. Yep. It's going to be a, a much more reliable solution, and it's going to have a longer lifespan. Um, it's also good for shooting suppressed, which, you know, obviously we're big in the suppressor game. Yeah. So it's you know, with a reduced chamber pressure, you get a little less ah, blowback. Sure. Um, it's just better, better all around. That's pretty sweet. And that, is that available now? It is. Yeah, like I said, it's shipping um, from Brownells. Through, through Brownells, it's a kit. You know, you get the bulk carrier group, you get the buffer, and you get the buffer spring, um, and the MSRP on that's four fifty, four hundred fifty bucks. Okay. And then the brand new handheld for us is the Stiletto Pro. You're familiar with the standard Stiletto, right? Yeah. So this is a very, very slim EDC flashlight. The uh, original Stiletto was full polymer, very, very lightweight. This is a an aluminum version with a higher output. Ah. So this is up to a thousand lumens. The original was six hundred and fifty lumens. It's a pocket flashlight that's a thousand lumens. <laughs> yeah, are you kidding me? The dark is, uh, you know, the more light the better. Holy cow! Look, oh my gosh, that's crazy. Yep. So you have that bezel switch that you just activated. Right. There's also a tail cap switch at the back that you can use, kind okay, of so in a more momentary. Okay. Yep. Exactly. Right. And there's a USB, a micro USB uh, charging port. There's a fuel gauge that uh, you know is green, yellow, or red for you know indicating how much power you have on the battery. Right. Pocket clip is reversible on the Pro, so if you want to carry it bezel up or bezel down, you can choose. Uh, but the main thing is it's you know slim, low profile, very right. comfortable to carry on a daily basis. It's, for, let me describe. I mean, it's, it's, this is not your typical cylindrical tube on this because you're not putting CR123s in it. Mm-hmm. It is a flat kind of ovoid, if you will. I would call this um, three and a half to four inches long. Yep, exactly. Or something like that, and it's flat. It'll fit in your pocket flat. Uh, yeah, so it's a it's lithium-ion recharge, rechargeable, it's rechargeable battery. Rechargeable battery. Which is why we're, we're getting it flat, exactly. Exactly. That's why you can do that and make it that form factor. Um, how long is the charge good for, for as far as if you want to just turn the battery or the light on? So, you know, it depends on the setting. On the, on the lowest, you'll get about 45 hours of runtime. On the highest, you get about an hour and a half or so. Oh, that's not bad. High. No, it's not too bad at not all. Not bad at all. Yep. It charges, in a, it charges super quick, about two hours. Um, MSRP is not set yet. This is a brand new light, so it's probably going to be around the $200 price point. The current stiletto is about 109 bucks. So that's not bad at all. Yep, yep. We're I very mean, excited. There's been a lot of hype about it. Everyone stopping by the booth definitely, you know, very excited about that. That's pretty slick. So where do we go? I mean, you guys are always a year or two out, just thinking you got brainiacs working at this place. Is there anything left to do with lights and there's, everything? There's plenty to do. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, we're constantly trying to make things um, more efficient, you know, increase runtime, increase output, have your cake and eat it too, and like you said, make things smaller. So, you know, on the horizon for us right now, another thing that will be launching later on this year is our compact uh, pistol lights, so the XR1 and the XR2. Uh, one's a light only and one's a light laser, and mm-hmm. they're both rechargeable. Um, putting out 600 lumens, so pretty much double that of what our current compact, uh, you know, handgun lights are, and that'll be a really good option for concealed carry. Um, the XR2 is the light laser version. It's a green top-mounted laser, so very, very little offset to your bore, mm-hmm. and, uh, you know, the XR1 is just the light-only version of that. Okay, I noticed you mentioned rechargeable, and this is rechargeable. Are we going away from replaceable batteries and going? Is, has the technology gotten us to where the rechargeable is, is the way to go now? I don't think we'll ever get it completely away from it, but that definitely seems to be the trend. Obviously, they're you know they're, they're almost better in every way. Typically, with with uh, your power output, your capacity, um, and obviously the convenience of not burning through batteries, it's a cost savings too. But I don't think we'll ever get away from it fully because there's certain people that you know 
definitely like to have the ability to cha- swap in brand new batteries. Yeah, in the field. if it goes dead on you, you can just drop some batteries in it if you're out where you really can't recharge. Yep, yeah. yep. So I think what you'll see more of is um, like kind of a dual fuel capability, like our, our dual fuel Scout Light, where you can have an 18650 that's rechargeable, but you right. can also still swap in two 123s, and you have the flexibility to do that. I think you'll see ah. more of that as we as we go into the future. And the lithium-ion technology just gets better, too. 100%, yeah, and that, that enables it to, us to have more runtime, more output, um, and then, yeah, so rechargeable, I think, is, is definitely going to be the trend for the future. All right, so what have you been doing recently? You been doing anything, any fun shooting or anything? <laughs> We've been shooting a little bit. I mean, we were out there shooting the 6.5, uh, the 6.5 suppressor, the titanium, the 260 tie. Um, we actually did a test when we were out with you where we used the 30 cal and the 6.5 uh, cal suppressor on the same 6.5 rifle to see if we could tell the difference. Yep, yep. You could notice a little bit of a difference. Yeah. Obviously, the 30 cal has a bigger bore diameter, right. and so there's a little bit of increased suppression when you go to a caliber-specific suppressor. Right. I mean, and for those who don't know, yes, you can use a 30 caliber suppressor on a 6.5 you just don't want to do it the other way around. <laughs> that doesn't work so well. Luckily, our adapters have built-in safety. And that's an interesting topic that came up earlier today. Okay. So you can't put a 260 can or a 6.5 can on a 30 caliber adapter of no ours. Kidding. And, you know, that's pretty much the way it works all the way down. You can put one of our 7.62 cans on a 5.56 gun, but not vice versa. Now, the problem is, cu- is starting to come or surface where certain manufacturers are making, like, 300 blackout guns with half by 28 threads. And then they're putting 5.56 adapters, and oh. then the next thing to come is a 5.56 suppressor. Now you're throwing a, b- a big bullet through a small hole, and that doesn't work so well. We've seen it happen a few times right now, so I figured it was a valid point to bring up and kind of yeah. warn people about. Let me ask you my standard question. We always got, need to cover this. Uh, suppressor maintenance. Mm-hmm. How do you take care of your suppressor? So they ship with a, with a, a bore brush that you can kind of just punch the bore. And actually... Before I get into that, it depends on which platform. Okay. So for like 22, for our 22 and 9 millimeter suppressors, right. they're user disassemblable. This is a word you gave me some, <laughs> some, some flack for last week. But, uh, yeah, you can maintain it. It comes with a tool to take down. You can clean the baffles yourself. But on our center fire, like our, our 5.56, 7.62, all these cans, they're welded. So you can't take them apart. But you don't really need to because they stay much cleaner. Like I said, you can punch the bore with a bore brush. And maybe every couple of years, literally, uh, you can throw it in a sonic tank, uh, in, oh. in an ultrasonic tank, and, and right. get, get the rest of the stuff out. But there's not much maintenance you need to do for your 5.56 and 7.62 suppressors. Very cool. Lots of interesting things. You guys at Surefire are always doing interesting things, man. We try. I pr- appreciate you bringing all the toys around so we get to play with them too. Thank you for having me. It's a pleasure always. Always fun. Andrew Wright, it's surefire.com? Yes, sir. Surefire.com. Simple as that. Surefire.com. All right, don't go anywhere. We're going to be uh, bringing you some more news right here from the NRA's annual meetings. We're in the FN booth. The folks are taking care of us really well and we get to play with their cool toys as well. They're going to good guns. Tom Gresham here. We'll be right back with more gun talk. Hey, this is Marty Daniel of Daniel Defense. For years, we've been bringing the highest quality ARs to our consumers at a great value. Now we're doing that same thing again with our Delta 5 bolt action rifle. It combines the accuracy and durability we're known for with the modularity of our AR platform. And it comes with the features the best shooters will want right out of the box. Visit DanielDefense.com to learn more. Isn't it time you got a Daniel? When someone leaves you their gun collection, you may want a few, but what do you do with the rest? How do you sell them? Who do you call? Well, I call Johnny Dury at Dury's Guns. Whether you're selling one gun or 500, they'll tell you what it's worth and write you a check. Simple, quick, easy, fair. I trust Dury's Guns. Give them a call. Dury'sGuns.com. Are you looking for a place to shoot? The National Shooting Sports Foundation has a great website called wheretoshoot.org. It's the largest database of shooting ranges on the Internet. It's also a great resource for shooters where you can find video tips, printable targets, and a lot more. Find it online at wheretoshoot.org. And while you're there, download their free iPhone app. That's wheretoshoot.org.
For 36 years, the U.S. Sportsmen's Alliance has been fighting to protect hunting, fishing, and trapping for sportsmen from coast to coast. Today, we are under constant attack from extremist animal rights groups who want to end your ability to hunt in the U.S. Join us to protect our sporting heritage and our way of life outdoors. To join or for more information on how you can help, go to ussportsmen.org. That's ussportsmen.org. The new FN 509 midsize 9mm pistol is now part of FN's legendary concealed carry lineup, and it is a natural fit. With its smaller grip frame modeled after the battle-proven million rounds tested FN 509, the FN 509 midsize comes with two 15-round magazines and naturally improves concealability. Available at your local firearms dealer. FN, the world's most battle-proven firearms. All right, can't keep us from talking. By golly, we're going to talk about guns no matter what. We're at the FN booth having fun here at the NRA's annual meetings. By the way, uh, for those who have not been to one before, or maybe you have, you really owe it to go ahead and start making your plans because Nashville's going to be cool. Nashville's going to be fun. And this is just, uh, honestly, at, at its core, this is a fun thing to do. I mean, you, you go to the workshops, you have all these workshops, and you have this exhibit hall with gun companies from everywhere here with accessories and guns and just everything. And you're also walking around with a bunch of like-minded people. It's just pretty cool. We're joined by Ryan Rep from Brownells. Ryan, you've been to this thing many times. It's kind of hard to explain the, the vibe, the feeling that you get here, isn't it? Yeah, it sure is. It's, uh, it's, a, it's electric. I always say that I wish our employees, particularly the folks that work in the warehouse and that sort of thing, could be able to come and, and experience the passion that people have for, you know, of course, our brand, which is great because right. you know, we're biased and we're in our own booth, but just to experience that the freedom-loving nature of everybody that's here. There, there's that. It, we were actually talking about this with somebody yesterday, and it's hard to understand, but there's a a vibe, a vibration, a, a, a an energy mm-hmm. sure is. that's in this place that you just pick up from everybody walking around. And I don't know if it's shared interests, shared cultural values. I I don't know what it is exactly, but it's very real. It sure is very real, and it's from it's it's people of all walks of life. You know, I think. Uh, I think the, the folks who are in the gun community and NRA members are often stereotyped, uh, you know, and that sort of thing. But you're really, it's all races, creeds, religions, all that stuff. That has changed. Uh, and it's different. I mean, I'm, I'm looking, we're look, look at the people walk by right, right now. We've yeah. got young people. we got women. we got, hello, girls. It's great, great to have you guys here. Glad that you're here. Uh, what, yeah, you bet. The, uh, I'll give away anything that's up here. It's not mine. <laughs> Just take it. It's, it's cool. <laughs> Uh, 15, 20 years ago, it was pretty much all guys. Right. You know, not that way at all now. Right. No, no, no. It's just a whole different deal. You guys see that in your business in terms of who's buying, who's doing things. Uh, It's really pretty much a a wide swath cut across America. Yeah, it sure is. One of the things that we've noticed, too, is uh, is a real uh, kind of sort of evolution of that younger customer, too. Lots of folks, uh, I mean, these days, it seems crazy. We're an 80-year-old brand, but... Almost half of our customers were born after 1977, which is pretty neat. That is pretty cool. Yeah. For, for those who don't know, i just do the background here. Brownell's been around for 80 years. Yeah, 80 this year. Okay, that's cool. Uh, originally basically making parts or selling parts and gunsmithing tools and still do all of that. All that, yeah. You have all of that stuff. Yep. And then, frankly, almost everything else at this point, up to and including selling firearms, developing firearms, right. selling guns, selling ammo, selling accessories and scopes and pretty much anything else that has to do with guns, mm-hmm. you can order it all online, brownells.com. Right. Yeah, it's quite, it's quite easy. Just, just look it up there. And, uh, of course, uh, the unique part about us is everything, everything except for guns and some ammo and that sort of thing, is backed by our, our uh, forever guaranteed warranty. So right. if you don't like it in 20 years and it's not one of the restricted categories, you can send it back for a full refund, which is uh, there's amazing. nobody doing that, Tom, it's, uh, outside no, of Brownells. That is amazing. Yep. Located right there in Iowa. Yeah, Grinnell, right on the interstate. And uh, June 8th, by the way, we have a retail sale. 
So we're going to call it 80 on 80. We've got about, uh, and actually conveniently, there's almost 80 manufacturers coming up. Uh, there's going to be big on, barbecue. On I-80. That's why yeah, it's right yeah. there. You're on Interstate 80. In Grinnell, uh, exit 182 in Iowa, right off Interstate 80. So what's going on there? What are you going to be doing? Oh, man, we're going to have, we have shooting trailers that are going to be there so people can try, try and buy guns. We have... Uh, uh, a big famous barbecue pit master, Mo Kason, from all the TV shows, is going to be there cooking barbecue. Like I said, about 80 uh, manufacturers there to to meet and greet with people, uh, so people can you know talk to their uh, Man, talk that, to their favorite companies directly and all that sorts of stuff. That's and, a happening. Uh, it's going to be 25 percent off all the used firearms in the store, which is a pretty big deal. Whoa. So uh, it's going to be a, it's going to be a heck of a party celebrating 80 years. So if if you're anywhere within driving distance, and that could be a day or two, mm-hmm. it'd be worthwhile to, to get in there. You might want to get your hotel reservation in advance. You're going to have a lot of people coming Yeah, you're probably going to look at hotels in Iowa City or Des Moines because Grinnell doesn't have that capacity. No, but, uh, it does not. We can always <laughs> stay in Montezuma. You, so. can, you can try that. Yeah, I think one hotel there. But, yeah, you could try it. That's right. I, I remember there is a place in Grinnell where you go uh, – you get your you get to cook your own steak. Yeah, the Grinnell Steakhouse. Yeah, I've you know been what's there. you know what's funny is all the vendors. So it, it, that's apparently an Iowa thing. That and breakfast pizza. Yeah. Uh, but the, the, all the vendors who come in and when you know regularly visiting Brownells, they always get a kick out of going to a cook your own steak place. And then the natural question, of course, is, hey, I'm paying. Right. Why do I have Why to? Why do I this? have to cook it? Yeah. <laughs> Which is, I suppose, a good question. That's a valid question, but it's, yeah. but it's fun. It's your own entertainment as well. Right. Exactly. All right. I mean, and you guys, I would just say. Yes, you sell products that other people make a lot, right. a lot of them. Uh-huh. But you also have become a developer, a creator of products, product lines, right. and all of that. You got you know a, kind of a list of some of the things there. You might just kind of go through what you guys have been up to recently. Yeah. So the hottest thing that we have from sort of quote unquote Brownells line, and, right. and I want people to understand when we talk about the Brownells line, it's still an industry partnership. So okay. a lot of the stuff that we've done, I mean, Aero Precision's been involved, Primary Weapon Systems have been involved. Right. Uh, uh, let's see, FM products have been involved. Uh, so the newest, hottest thing is, is the BRN-180, which is, of course, that old AR, AR-180 technology that we came out with at SHOT Show with a 16-inch. And the customer feedback was, give us a shorty. We want a shorty barrel. Oh, yeah? So we just launched it right before the show. The BRN-180S, it's a 10.5-inch version of the BRN-180, is now available for pre-order on the site. Um, a lot of people have been asking. The BRN-180 with the 616 right. uh, has been shipping now uh, for just a few weeks. Um, but the BRN-180S has just blown it out. In fact, Recoil just gave us the best product of the show. Whoa. So we're pretty excited about that. Hold that thought. I know you got a list here. We're going to talk about some more of the things for Brownells. Listed with uh, Ryan Rep. Check it out, brownells.com. And by the way, if you are still here at the show, come on by. We're at the FN booth at the NRA annual meetings, having a bunch of fun here. I'm Tom Gresh. I'll be right back with more Gun Talk. Welcome back to Tom Gresham's Gun Talk, live from the FN booth at the NRA Show. Hey, now, when do you want to spot that burglar? When he's casing your home or after he's already in? Well, ask John. His blink camera alerted him of burglars trying to break in while he and his family were home. Or Shannon, whose Blink camera caught a thief stealing packages. Both times, Blink video clips were sent to the police to help convict the crooks. Blink motion-activated indoor and outdoor cameras are wire-free, set up in minutes, and run on two lithium batteries that last up to two years. When you're away, Blink's live feed option lets you monitor your home and check in on kids and pets from anywhere using your Blink smartphone app. No contracts, no subscriptions, totally affordable. In fact, Blink's systems start at just $79.99. Thanks to Blink, home security just got easier. Visit BlinkProtect.com slash GunTalk. BlinkProtect.com slash GunTalk. Blink is an Amazon company, and it works with Alexa. All right, we're in the FN booth here at uh, the NRA's annual meetings, visiting with uh, Ryan Rep from Brownells. Ryan, it uh, kind of has the look of, Everybody's looking for the door these days. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's, it's definitely starting to thin out. Yeah, it really has. But you know what? Uh, it is the, it's that time of day that if you're in the right booth, you can maybe get yourself a deal. Yeah, yeah. Get yourself a deal or land on the top of the, uh, of the sweepstakes pile, perhaps, or something like that. <laughs> Increase your chances to win. Do, do whatever you got to do, right? <laughs> right. Exactly. All right, so you were mentioning when we went to the break uh, that – 
you know, you guys have been developing, the Brownells, actually developing cool retro yeah, guns. Right. Not retro as in lever actions, but retro as in M16, yeah. AR-15 style. How did that come about? Right. You know, it was a discussion about, you know, sort of the, the whole social zeitgeist is looking at retro things. And, and you, know, you have pickup companies and that sort of thing doing retro stuff. And right. So, uh, we we could see it coming in the industry, and, and others had, have have done it as well. But we decided we would do it ourselves. And initially, that discussion started as as parts, uppers, lowers, that sort okay. of thing. And uh, I was in a meeting, and I raised my hand, and I said, "Well, why can't we just do? Well, let's just do the whole guns? gun." <laughs> yeah, well, we were talking about all the parts. I'm trying to build it in my head, and I'm like, "Well, it sounds like we've got enough to do it." Uh, and so a group of us came together, and, and and we wound up doing it. And then the retro, the line launched, of course, last shot show, and has been immensely popular since. And uh, so this year we've added we've added to it a little bit. Of course, we added the BRN tens, which which we technically announced last year, and the three hundred eights. They have been uh, super popular. By the way, all the retro products are on sale right now. Oh really? Yeah, it's gonna, you're looking at about twenty percent off on all oh, wow. of those right now. So okay. it's definitely a good time to hop over to brownells. dot com and take a look if you're in the market for a retro. Okay. But we added the Proto this year at Shot Show, which is of course the uh, it's the top charging handle unit. It's of course a copy of the the, the first about five serial number ARs that that were ever made uh, basically on um, Miller's design. This is, this is kind of like when you get into gun geek world, people who understand right. the real early yeah. days of the AR and that development. Yeah, yeah. I've had several people at the booth stop by and be like, where's the charging handle? <laughs> well, it's up here under the carry handle. That's how it was originally designed. So uh, people were pretty stoked about that. Uh, and then the BRN605, which, of course, was the first effort at making a carbine. Uh, it wasn't ever. It never made it to service anywhere. If it's modeled, of course, after the Colt 605, and so that's a pretty unique looking gun. But it's been pretty popular with the show right. as well. Huh. So when someone orders a gun from Brownells, uh-huh. just talk about the process there, because I mean, obviously you can't ship it directly to them. Sure. Yeah. Well, you know, p- plenty of politicians in the past have, have tried to uh, to make. Uh, guns purchases online out to be some villainous activity or of some kind, right. which uh, we know isn't. But it, basically, when you purchase a firearm online, it's 100% legal. Uh, what happens is you provide us. Well, we have a we have a, a very large FFL dealer network. So when you go on, you select the gun you want, and then you tell us out of our network, or you can pick your own. We are it just requires a little bit more back end communication. Mm-hmm. But if you pick one of our preferred net, uh, FFLs. We have well over 5,000 of them across the country. So you send it to the gun store? We send the gun to the gun store. Then you go pick it up. They do the 4473 at the gun store. Uh, it makes it entirely legal. All, all the paperwork's done. All the background yep. check's done. Whatever the legal requirements are, it's all done. Right. Don't worry about it. It's all cool. Yep, yep. And I, I think there's, you know, I think uh, uh, there was a certain uh, female president candidate presidential candidate who was trying to, uh, like I said, villainize online gun sales and some alleging that, that, that that's our, somehow sidesteps the law, which that's is right. You, you, got, you guys are trying to uh, avoid the law or evade the law or break the law. No, right. no, it's actually we're complying. That's exactly right. We're complying with the law. 100% true. All right, so what's the process at Brown Else where you guys come up with these cool ideas? How, how do you guys come up with them? You know, uh, one of the interesting things about being at Brownells, of course, is just sort of like a hub of the industry, right? We work with over 2,000 suppliers and and manufacturers out there. So we can kind of see what's coming in. And and then I think the other thing that people, it's interesting to know, is our new products team looks at about 85 to 90 new products every single week. Um, And so products come and go. They're on the site. They might discontinue, that sort of thing. But they're looking at between 80 and 90 new products a week. So just just because it... It's not on the website. Doesn't mean that we're not maybe seeing some of the trends and that sort of thing oh, that comes okay. in. So, it, we probably have a little bit broader view of the industry, perhaps, than some other companies. But when we we'll, we'll take a look at those 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 things that are coming in and start to kind of say, hey, this this seems popular. But but like I said, our best interest is when all boats rise. Uh, so it's not just about us, which is why when we do the product projects like the Retro Line, which we work with Aero Precision with and Primary Weapons, uh, we try to bring in partners mm-hmm. and say, hey, you know, how do we make this a good thing for you too? It's not just about us. And I think that's if you if you look through the the heritage and the history of the company, it's always been about how do we do what's best for the industry, not just what's best for us. And by doing that, the consumer, the individual gun purchaser, ends up with access to a lot more variety and a lot more products. Yeah, yeah, but that's. That's principally how it's done. Huh. Okay. Very good. All right. Uh, last one. Pick something out there that we're going to tell people about that's very cool that you guys are You know, there. one thing that we're going to – we're running a promotion. It ends tonight. 
Oh, okay. So people want to get on it, they would go to brownells.com slash John Wick. Yeah, just like really? the movie. Brownells.com slash John Wick. We're doing what we're calling the, the John Wick for a day giveaway here. We're doing that with Taron Tactical. Of oh. course, Taron's made the guns for the movies. And, and, he's, and he's trained Keanu Reeves. He's, he's trained Keanu and Hallie and, and, and everybody in the movie, that sort of thing. So the giveaway includes an, a, a Taron Tactical, the TT1, or the Taron Tactical TR-1 AR rifle. Uh, which uh, which appears in the movie, right? Um, a trip for two to Taryn's range. Oh, uh, really? And in half a day of training with Taryn, which at the same exact range where Keanu and, and Hallie train. Holy and, cow! And so pretty cool giveaway. Uh, in that that's uh, but, going but on until if, midnight. If, if they're listening, if you're listening to this on the podcast and it's Monday, you missed it. Yeah, if, Cause yeah. Because this, this broadcast is live on Sunday. Yes. If you're listening to it right now, you got to go do it now. So yeah. it's brownells. dot com slash John Wick. John Wick. All one word. That yeah. is so cool. But it's going to be a cool giveaway. So it's, That is really cool. That's why we're calling it John Wick for a day giveaway. I like it. Very good. Ryan yeah. Rep. thank you so much. Always a pleasure, man. Tom, always a pleasure, truly. That's, you know, oh, yeah, and give them the date on that uh, 8080 deal you got going there. This, oh, that's June 8th. Yeah, June Saturday, the, Saturday, June 8th. June the 8th on I-80, Grinnell, Iowa. You want to be there because it's going to be rad. It's going to be really cool. Indeed. All right. Thanks so much. All right. We'll be back in just a minute. Purchase a Crimson Trace laser sight and receive a $50 rebate now through April 30th. Laser sights are available for your specific handgun model, as well as universal fit options for handguns and long guns with accessory rails. You can outfit your firearms with the ultimate sighting solution by visiting CrimsonTrace.com, your local authorized dealer, or a featured online retailer. Find out more about the $50 rebate at CrimsonTrace.com. Want great deals on guns, ammunition, and gear? Download the free Gundelio app today. With Gundelio, you can search for deals, listen to the Gun Talk podcast, watch gun videos, read gun news, and get notifications right to your phone about deals and special offers. Save money on the products you want from the companies you love. New deals, discounts, and rebates added daily. Gundelio, available for free in the App Store and Google Play. Since 1937, Ducks Unlimited has led the charge on wetlands and waterfowl conservation. Wetlands reduce the effects of flooding and recharge our drinking water. But perhaps most importantly, they allow us to experience what makes the outdoors so great. Band together to rescue our wetlands. Are you tired of leather holsters not holding up to everyday carry or having boxes of holsters for every gun? Try a holster from 1791 Gun Leather. Offering multi-fit IWB and OWB options, every holster is handcrafted from full grain, American heavy native steer hide. Order now and enjoy unmatched quality, versatility, and that pleasant leather aroma. For free shipping, visit 1791gunleather.com and add Gun Talk Free Ship at checkout. All right, back with you here, Tom Gresham. We are uh, in the final stages of uh, Gun Talk Radio today and also the NRA annual meetings in uh, Indianapolis. Uh, Rob Latham joins me right now from Springfield Army. And, Rob, it's uh, you could also call this the final minutes of The Walking Dead here. This is it. Because yeah. uh, the folks who have been working the booths are ready to go. Right, guys? I'm yeah, seeing amen. faces that are ready to pull cases out and box things up That's and turn right. this down. If we stand too uh, still, they're going to put us in a case and we're out of here, man. <laughs> They'll just start working around us. <laughs> exactly. Well, they're going to do that anyway. They are going to do it anyhow. Yeah. And, and, of course, the other thing is that the people who are actually walking the aisles, I think they're people who were working some of the booths, and now they're out shopping. <laughs> Right, so now nothing gets taken apart. So that's the, the that's the catch twenty two. You can tear it down, except for I'm not in my booth. That's right. There's nobody there to actually do the work. So how right. how did it go for you? This this was this was really an interesting NRA. It a was lot a of people. very interesting NRA. Um, yesterday, of course, was packed. Yeah. And uh, you know, at our show, we had a bajillion people standing there, and a lot of new products for Springfield Armory, and a lot going on there. The show itself, as you well know, is 
full of interesting, I, interesting, interesting int events. Intrigue, yes. Yeah, lots of intrigue. We, uh, we actually don't know how it's all going to develop because as we're speaking today on Sunday, tomorrow is the board of directors meeting. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, yes, Oliver North is out. We understand. Uh, tomorrow, we don't know what's going to happen. And you know, I'm going to stand... Close enough to hear, but not so close that I get like hit with the, well, uh, the splatter, the splatter going, coming yeah. out from back, coming back from the steel. You know, yeah. it's like we, when we, we do our shooting, you know? Only not get, too close, not man. too close, man. <laughs> Ten yards minimum, steel targets. We were we were just together in uh, in Mississippi at Boondocks mm -hmm. doing a bunch of shooting over Fantastic there. Fantastic place too. Wasn't that something? Uh, I love that range. I go back there every time. When, great, you, know what, when, you know when I saw your uh, your eyes light up is when you looked over and went, wait, that's a twenty four. Plate, plate rack. Plate rack. Yeah, so they I, had that got, whole automated thing. Got to get some of that, man. Man, to a shooter, you know, it's it, when you. It's like a playground, you know, when you put all that kind of stuff up and say you can shoot it. Yeah. Man, for me, that's like going it's, to Disneyland. It really is. It's got twenty four <laughs> plates, and it's, you know, and you could either the way they got it set up, you could either move and shoot, mm -hmm. or you could safely stand in the middle and shoot right. the whole deal. And all the way back, to, I think fifty meters on that range, fifty yeah. yards, whatever. Yeah. It is. You know, and it was, and turning targets, and, man, that's got to be the place to go in the isn't winter. That a, isn't that a cool place, that's though? Be the Boondocks place in Jackson, Mississippi. Check you it guys, out. You Boondocks. guys do all your stuff there now? We are doing a lot there now. Yeah. Uh, the facilities are good, but more than that, the people are top-notch. Yeah. I mean, everything we, anything we needed. Yeah, they were Johnny on the spot, yeah. man. It was. Food's good, it too. It was good to go. Everything was, yeah, it was really good. Yeah. yeah everything was good. Man. So, fun times. Fun exactly times. right. Exactly. So what's new at Springfield? What are you guys doing? Oh, man, we have so many new things. I Probably the, the, the two biggest things that came out here was we introduced the Saint 308. Right. Which is a 16-inch barreled, uh, call it a Victor model, which has a full-length handguard. It's very small, compact, real lightweight for a 308. Easy to shoot. Um, to kind of start filling out the real, AR pad. Real trim forearm. Mm -hmm. uh, the handguard is really trim. The, mm -hmm. the whole rifle feels... It actually, to me, feels lighter than it measures. In right, ways. right. It's one of those things where where the th the two two three in the same variant weighs six pounds, six and a half pounds, and this mm -hmm. thing weighs, I think, seven and a half pounds. I can't remember the numbers. Right like about. Yeah, it just doesn't make sense because when you sit them next to each other, you really kind of have to know what to look at. Like the magwell's bigger. If you didn't look at the magwell, mm -hmm. you wouldn't be able to tell the difference between right. the two. It's, it's, Even when you pick it up and start holding it, it doesn't feel. Maybe when you pull the uh, when you open up the bolt, right? When you operate the, sure, you, you can, can feel it's a heavier spring for the three hundred eight. That's right. kind of the first clue that you're shooting something bigger, right? But it's, controllable, accurate. So we shot that mm -hmm. at uh, for the Guns and Gear video mm -hmm. shoot. Mm -hmm. We also shot your newest version of your M one A. There's, oh my gosh, we have so much going on. The CQB model of the of the M one A, which. You know, we're still in we're still in the middle of the tactical small and cool, you know, phase right. of, 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 of popularity. And that gun with a sixteen inch barrel and comes with or without a, a an optical sight, you know, a little red dot sight right. we put on the pistols. Right. So it kind of solves the aiming problem. You know, traditionally in MLA's weakness has been you know, it's hard. To, it was never designed. It was done as a, designed at a time where there were no optical right. sights on rifles. Oh, and it was the last one that probably had that as a as a second thought, and uh, the way we've put a base on it for the little vortex site that comes on it, right? But you can put others on it. Um, makes it so unobtrusive that you really can't even notice it's, it's there until you till you bring it up. Yeah. And, and man, that gun is so controllable. But then I'm a, I'm going to wax poetic about M1As because I'm love them. It's the first rifle that Springfield Armory ever produced, and. I've got every variant we ever made. Some we yeah, didn't. And, and, and you are also a bit of a gun history buff. You know, you, you know, you love that. You know, I was, uh, c coming over here today. You know, I was thinking. I had a question: just what is it about guns that we love so much? I mean, guys like you and me. We're I, I, for you out there. We are gun nuts. We are. And I, 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 I've thought about that a lot. And I think a lot of it is that because they last essentially forever, and they are identified with when they came out, they carry history with them. Yeah, we, we. It's more than a thing. It's more than a thing, and they don't just carry like American history or world history; they carry our personal history with us. Because you have guns that carry your personal history, your stories oh, with yeah. you, and, and that's that's what they are. Well, and same as you, I got my dad's guns, and yes. I've got stuff that was mine. I still have the first gun I ever got when I was twelve years old. Yeah, 
I mean, it's it's it like, is. It's, it's, it's they, not only an engineering marvel. Some of them, right? That, that I can. It's it's not just that I can go out and shoot it and the gun fires. And I look at it and I see it as a piece of art with a piece of mechanical engineering and a piece of history. You're right. That's what it is. Yeah, it, it, they carry the stories for us. They yeah. really do. Don't go anywhere, Rob. We're gonna we're talking with Rob Latham from Springfield Army. We're in the FN booth at the uh, NRA annual meetings. What's left of it? What's left of it? <laughs> yeah, it's not, just us. Not much. It's just it's just us here and a few of our closest friends. Be right back. Welcome back to Tom Gresham's Gun Talk, live from the FN booth at the NRA Show. All right, we're back. Uh, Rob and I are just sitting here talking about guns. Actually, the That's same conversation. We talk about during, guns. during the break, we're talking about guns as fast as we can, about you know your, the Nambu that you have and how interesting it is, and the Remington 600 with goofy dogleg-looking bolt thing on it, and the 350 Remington. And we were talking about the 6.5 Remington Magnum, which was an interesting cartridge, which died, was completely orphaned. Right. How's that different? Than a 6.5 PRC. Right. I think they're ballistically, they're probably they're pretty, much pretty, twins. pretty much pretty similar. And when that, when did 600 come out? 660s or 600s? Oh, that had to be uh, 60s, mid, right? mid-60s. I, think so. I would think mid-60s, yeah. And you think about it, nothing's ever new. I mean, that did that flopped then because uh, the 264 came out in the Model 70 with 22 or 24 inch or 26 right. inch barrels. And Remington did the 6.5 Rem Mag in yeah. the 600, which right. is this little short. And we had the 6 millimeter Remington, which was a really good cartridge, but it got, Great cartridge. got beat out by the 243. That's right. So I got told this is the kind of geeky stuff we do, man. Uh, this is what well, this is who we are. I mean, we're, let's face it, it we're gun people. We both love five millimeter Remington Magnums, which makes us truly weird. Really weird because everybody <laughs> says, "What the heck is a five millimeter?" You know, and, and as we're developing more and more more pistol gun or pistol guns, pistol guns, <laughs> pistol guns <laughs> rifle guns, shotgun guns, and and as we develop more of them, you know, so much of it. Like we refine things. Like the 1911s we're producing today, and we now have 10 millimeter 1911s with right. optical sights. Very cool. Yeah. But that basic foundation is a hundred and some odd years old. Yeah. So we keep we keep coming back to why well, does some things well, last? Well, look, you guys make 1911s. We're in the FN booth. These guys make 1911s. Right. You know, these guys over here. I'm looking at Ruger. They make 1911s. Yeah. You're going, and why? Because we all love them. Because we love we them. We just love them. And it's and it, that's one of those guns that it's more than the sum of its parts. Yeah. Because if you look at it on the spec sheet, it's steel, it's heavy, it's flat, uh, holds seven rounds or eight rounds in 45 and all these yeah, things. Yeah, what's to be impressed with there? Th- there's nothing on the spec sheet that makes it look particularly special until right. you put it in your hand and start shooting. And like, okay, now I know why these guys like, why, yes. your, why gun guys like 1911 triggers and they like the grip angle and they like the feel of it. Some stuff we haven't made better. We refine things. Yeah. But some, the, the basic foundation, I always kind of think of it as a wheel. Yeah, we haven't figured out a better shape for a wheel to be than round. <laughs> this is true, right? Yeah. And, and you know, and, and, yeah, we have cool new guns and all of that, but boy, you know, when you're a gun guy, gun yeah. gal, uh, the 1911 is just cool. Yeah, and, it, and, you know, it is. And a lot of the, and go back to the M1A. Right. You know, the M1. It's like okay, it's a touchstone. It's a it's a point. It carries the stories that we're talking about, mm-hmm. but. You know, it's this combination of mechanical that sets off a chemical reaction, which then powers the mechanical. Right. And it's, it's like you said, it's like an internal combustion engine. We just, yeah. we love it. Yeah, I love it. It's just, uh, and I, I guess maybe it's, I'm, I'm over the edge deeper than most people are, but you, you can think? sit a gun in a rag. I'm sure I am. You put a stack, of, uh, put a rack of guns in there. I can sit in my office. My friends will tell you, I can sit in my office and just look at guns. And the ones that look cool. And I don't know what cool, I don't know how to define cool. But I know what you mean. But the ones that look cool, I mean, if I sit my Katie there and I look at it, I'm like, oh, that is just so cool looking. I mm-hmm. can look at it for hours and I'll look at my new bolt action rifle. And it doesn't matter. If I, if I hand you a cool lever action, you'd go, that's cool. That's cool, too. You know? You know, I, right now on the rack, I've got a, a, I just got one of the 308s and I got that 308 rifle sitting there and I, I've, I'll bet I put five different scopes on it now. <laughs> I put the scope on it sure. and sit it in the rack and go like, that looks cool. I wonder what it would look like if it had a 9473. <laughs> so I put that scope on it. Like, oh, I wonder what it looks like with an aim point on it. So I guess I am a little deeper down down the path than most. We have gone down the rabbit hole of rabbit gun, hole gun, gun geekery. Gun, gun, gun geek. That's that should be a new thing for you, Tom. Gun geekery. Gun geekery. That's yeah. right. Rob Latham, it's always a pleasure, man. Oh, it's every fun. Time. It's time for us to uh, run to the door because yeah. uh, this place is going to shut down in just about 30 seconds. They're going to blow the whistle yeah, on us. See you later. <laughs> that, that's it. We'd like to uh, invite everybody to check it out. Springfield Armory, uh, the website is 
SpringfieldArmory.com. Springfield-Armory.com, I think yep, it is. And go check out our new The Armory Life and go see what's going on there. Oh, cool stuff. Yep. All right, good deal. And then you, then you can see uh, Rob do stuff with us on guns and gear and everything else. Have a safe trip home, my friend. All right, thank you, sir. All right. All right, we are out of here. Thank you so much. Thank you, FN. It was great.